Hi, my name's David Webb. I'm the director of the Aston Institute for Urban Technology and the Environment, where we are working on a range of technologies to support the modern city. We chose to get a driverless pod for three reasons, really. Firstly, in support of our Future Vehicles Technology Master's program, which starts this year. Secondly, as a platform for working on a range of, of research technologies that we're developing. And then finally, to allow us to engage with the public to talk about autonomous vehicles in general. We're going to use the pod in a number of ways. Um, for our Future Vehicles Technology MSc, it will act as a platform in which we can bring together all the different technologies that the students will be studying, so motors, artificial intelligence, sensors, machine vision, uh, and it will bring them all together in one place and indeed reveal some of the challenges that uh, we meet when we're combining those technologies. From a research perspective, uh, it's a platform on which we can investigate an, a number of areas that are of interest to Aston. And that includes artificial intelligence and machine vision. And it allows us to do it in a real world environment rather than uh, in the laboratory. And then finally, the pod will enable us to open up a conversation with the public to explain about these technologies uh, and to allow us to help people to build trust in autonomous vehicles because there's a lot of work to be done in that area. We've been doing research with the company that develops these pods because they, they can see in a number of ways. We use our eyes, of course, uh, but the autonomous pods can see using cameras, which is similar to our eyes, but uh, it allows us to see with different wavelengths, so light that we can't see. They include sensors known as LiDAR, which is an optical uh, equivalent to radar, and that provides the vehicle with a three-dimensional map. And then it can include other sensors, such as ultrasonic sensors you may be familiar with from uh, car parking sensors, for example. They're, they're typically ultrasonic. Um, we have been helping the company with the machine vision aspects and trying to enhance that capability of the system. So a lot of people are interested in the safety of autonomous vehicles um, for, for very good reasons. And the short answer is that they are safe. The more nuanced answer is that, that of course, nothing is 100% safe. But nevertheless, we're, we're comfortable, most of us, with getting on a plane, driving a car, or walking down the side of a busy road. Uh, and so it's a question about putting the level of risk in context. Now I think with autonomous vehicles we need to be at a point where they're definitely safer than human powered uh, vehicles uh, and only then can we start to build the trust needed for, for acceptance of this kind of technology.